first step is we need to simplify. So on the left side, we can take this 4 and multiply it to the x plus 5. So 4 times x, and remember we're multiplying the coefficients, so 4 times 1 is 4, so 4x. And then we have 4 times 5, which is 20. And we put plus 20 because it's positive. Okay, now on the right side, we have like terms. So we could put the 8x and the negative 4x together. So 8 minus 4 is 4. So we have 4x. And then we bring down the plus 20 there. All right, so step one, we're done simplifying. Step two, we need to highlight the variable term. But when we go do that, we have one on both sides. We can't have a variable term on both sides. So we need to get rid of them, one of them. So I'm going to get rid of this one. But what happens is that one zeroes out, and so does this one. So there's no x term left in the problem. So when that happens, I bring down the left side and the right side, and I read this. 20 does equal 20. That's true. So the answer is not true. The answer, because we get this, this tells us that the answer is all real numbers. That means any number can be plugged in for x, and it will make both sides equal. Okay, so that is our answer, all real numbers. Now I want to make sure that you get this. So all real numbers means you can pick whatever number you want and plug it in here, here, and here, and it should make both sides always equal. So I'm going to randomly pick a number. I'm going to pick 2. So I'm going to put a 2 here for x, a 2 here for x, and a 2 here for x. And now I'm going to simplify each side. So here we have parentheses first, so 2 plus 5 is 7. And then this 4 is next to the parentheses, so it means times. So we get 28 on the left side. Now we're going to come over here on the right side. So we have an 8 next to an x, that means multiply. So we get 16 here. And then here we have a negative 4 next to this x, so that means multiply. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then we bring down this positive 20, because remember we multiply. We're multiplying before we add in order of operations. So now I can combine all of this together, so that would be 36 minus 8, which is 28. And we get the same thing on both sides, so we know that the number 2 works. So, and I randomly picked that number, so that's what this means, that any number can go back in for x and make the equation true.